Looks like I'm not finished with the Logitech G502 mouse yet. Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here with another unboxing video for you. This time, it's an extension from the mouse video I did. This is the new mouse I got for Christmas. It's the G502 Lightspeed mouse. And we figured out that they put the weights in the bottom, peel this off because it's magnetized a little bit. One magnet there, which goes into that hole there. All the weights underneath, I do prefer a heavy mouse. You don't have to have them on there anyway. And I thought that this, when you push that bottom bit there, was just, it's just a magnetic cover to put the two weights in there and then maybe a dongle, because it just said dongle, there's a dongle in there. So you put that in there and I thought that was it until I was informed that there's a way to charge that apart from doing the USB micro, which is inside there, there she is. So I actually was gonna do those, those magnetic connected inside here if you watched the last video. It's kind of scratched it, taking it out a little bit, but that's by the by, this is gonna be used, this mouse and not be on display or anything. But the magnetic ch uh, charger cables, basically you put a, something inside there with the magnet on the end, you put the charger, which has got the magnet on the end, it would click into place and then start charging. There's only th that that needs to be doing on this. However, it wouldn't fit, but there's an easier way of charging this up. Instead of using a normal USB cable, fine there is this we're finally getting to the point this is the soaking charging dock for the logitech mouse g pro x super light what it says on it on amazon anyway it will do more than just my 502 according to this uk no seeing what seeing now county limited oh no somewhere in london it will do more than the 502 it'll do the 703 and the 903 light speed and pro versions. So it does do quite a lot and I'll show you exactly what this is. What comes in the box is this little stand and a cable. I think there's instructions, yes. So there's not much you get with this. However, there's a charging module, the charging dock, Logitech wireless receiver. Okay, so you can put it in there instead of somewhere else and then the C charging connector. So what you'll basically do is follow the instructions, but this is what I'm gonna do anyway. You can use the dongle on there. Your standard dongle, plug into the back of there, no problem at all. I've got mine into the computer. Fine, I might actually free up one port by put it in here. I never realized you could do that. Then take the USB-C, which goes into there, and then actually plug this into the computer. So you're gonna be, you're going to gain one by putting your dongle in there, but you're going to lose one by putting one in there as well. So, that doesn't really matter so much. I don't think... I'm not... No, I, I'm, really, I'm certain that there's no point at all in any data being transferred across. So that's just... It's just a charging system. Nothing more. So that's now plugged in and on. There's no lights at all. No, there is one light and blue light showing power. This is on the back at least anyway, so you can't really see it. So this has already comes off. Magnetized with a 10 gram weight under it underneath. I assume you could take that off. If you wanted to, you could probably peel it off, but that would just leave this as a very, very lightweight <laughs> two magnets. So what you'll need to do is press down on the bottom of the your mouse to release this part and put that to one side then you put this in its place it will go one way because the magnets are just pushing it and that's not secured so with the circle bit to the bottom that's now magnetized in place so I'll turn this back on again this won't pay to anything because the computer in the garage hasn't got the dongle attached to it so all you do at the end of the day done it's charging as simple as that or at the end of the whenever if you got if you've been full day session full week or whatever if it's going flat fine it'll tell you I mean mine I think it does breathing red but that's down to the app take it off put it back on it, it gets itself quite easily to magnetize itself onto there done this is just this is just ridiculously easy 
So I'll need to hide that somewhere, which will probably be back into the box for there. Done. I mean, it couldn't be as so, so simple to charge one of these wireless battery. It, it, I did not want one that had batteries inside it because I've had systems like before where I've been wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, and the batteries replacing every week. And I was sick of this. These have got internal batteries, so you can charge them up and off you go. And I'm so much more happier by having a dock at the side of the computer where I can do that with. Done. Charging. Easy. I mean, uh, how easy can that be? And actually put it in, your dongle on the back of there doesn't lose the cable. Red means it's, it's charging, blue means it's not. Done. Red. Instant. Off. On. I mean, ridiculously easy. These are on, I've seen, probably, I've only seen these on Amazon. I'm sure you can find these somewhere else. I'll put a link in the description. So if you've got one of these, the 502, the 703, and the 903, you can go out and get one yourself. It's just a, yeah, soaking, S-O-A-R-K-I-N-G. Corded electric, yes, your cable's there, but just mean you can put that to one side and ignore it. And then just, end of the day, done. I thought this actually would slip off. It doesn't, it's really quite good. If you do the top here, there's no magnets there. Down, done. It's just a magnetic charging port, which is just perfect. I think, yeah, you can take it off by doing that, but you take off normally, it'll be fine. But you can remove it from the base for no reason. But yeah, just take it off normally, it'll be fine. If you get any problems with this, I would probably recommend maybe a, a drop or two of, of hot glue maybe a bit round the edge of here, put it in place, let it hold itself, and then it should be more secure inside here. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Up, it's fine. Right, it's fine. Down, comes off. So if you're paranoid about this, put a bit of hot glue underneath here, not on the contacts, because these are charging contacts and the magnets, just to make it a little bit more secure. Done, happy, sorted. Very easy, very good product, and I like simple products because they just yeah they, they, they serve a, a need which doesn't destroy the port on the front magnets are just the best things that have been around for forever to be honest so yeah that's the um soaking charging dock there you go go out and buy one if you've got one of these mice if not i'll see you in another video and if you want to help out the channel links are in the description below i'll see you in another video bye for now